to tell me, Dee? He's all coming to the party tomorrow night. I don't know yet, but I know for sure that it's gonna turn up like crazy. I think this time I'm gonna have a bonfire instead. That's a great idea. Is Ryan okay with that? I mean, you and him are both hosting the party, right? <laughs> I don't give a shit what he thinks. Trace, he's gonna be too busy fucking me tomorrow night to care what's going on at the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, hold on. Can you give me a second? I need to take care of something. Um, okay, sure. Well, hello there. It's been a while since I checked up on you. How's it going? What? I can't ask how you've been. I'm just trying to be nice, you know? I know you didn't ask, but my life's been going pretty good lately. A lot less stressful these past few weeks. Honestly, it's... I think I haven't even had to do any homework at all. <laughs> mm. What about you? I mean, you can't be that stressed out, right? Mm. Even though you look like a nervous wreck and... Mm, the circles under your eyes make it seem like you haven't slept in days, but... I'm sure you're perfectly fine. <laughs> Hmm. You know, you've been a good little slave for me so far, but don't think I'm going to take it easy on you. We aren't even halfway through the year yet. There's still a lot more work to be done. And if you do slack off, you know exactly what's going to happen to you. Keep that in mind, little boy. You're mine now. Don't forget it. Oh, that must be Ryan. I think he's finally decided what thong I should wear tonight. <laughs> hey babe, what you doing? Hey, what's up man? You been okay? I haven't really talked to you all week. That's great. I'm so ready for this weekend. It just seems like they all go by too fast, you know? You know, if I was principal, I think I'd make a mandatory one-day school week. Just cram all the learning in at once. It'd be so much more efficient that way. <laughs> hey, are you sure you're okay? You seem kind of tense. And you seemed kind of tense for the past couple weeks, really. Are you sure nothing's bothering you? Mm. How about this? If you're not doing anything at 7 to 8, you want to go grab something to eat at McDuff's? Hang out, whatever. <laughs> no, nothing like that. No drinking, no drugs. I just want to talk. So, do we have a deal? <laughs> Great. I'm so glad you said yes. I heard they got a new jumbo burger on their menu and I've been dying to try it. You know, whoever said that nothing tastes better than being skinny feels clearly hasn't had a decent burger. <laughs> oh, shit. There's Diana. And what were you guys talking about? Oh, it's nothing. Just some chapters we have to read this weekend. Ugh, Miss Slyburn is such a bitch. Ugh, reading. Gross. Well, we better get going. I have a big night ahead of me tonight. And when I say big, I mean really big. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just let me get my keys out of my locker. I'll be right behind you. Sounds good. I'll be waiting in the car. Bye, sweetie. I'll see you next week. <laughs> McDuff's, 7 o'clock. 
Don't forget, okay? I'll be waiting. Hey, over here. Hi, glad you can make it. Okay, before you say anything, I have to tell you something. I know about you and Diana. Wait, please, I want to help you. Just hear me out. This is serious. Thank you. Okay. I know that she has leverage against you. And I know that she's threatening to expose you if you don't do what she says. No, it's... I could tell by the way she was talking to you. I couldn't hear exactly what she said, but you look absolutely terrified. That's when I knew what she was doing. <sighs> this isn't the first time she's done this, you know? Diana has been manipulating boys for the longest time. Nobody's ever noticed because she's so good at keeping them quiet. She knows she's hot, and she uses it to her advantage. Whenever a boy shows her some kind of affection, interest, whatever, she makes it her mission to find ways to use it against them or hold it over them, get what she wants out of them. Whatever it takes. She really is a monster. She's gotta be stopped somehow. I know. It's just... Well... The only reason I hang out with Diana is... Really, just... It's because I don't have anybody else. And honestly... I know if I ever tried to expose her... Diana would make my life a living hell. If she found out I betrayed her... She'd completely ruin me. Besides, nothing without her. She's the only reason people respect me at this school. <sighs> but I don't want to hide behind her anymore. I'm gonna help you get out of this. I'm gonna help you stop her. <sighs> I know a lot about Diana. And trust me, she isn't the person she makes herself out to be. Almost everything she's ever told anybody is a lie. The only reason she does any of this is to hide her flaws and boost her shitty self-esteem. Ryan, he doesn't know the truth about her either. He feels so bad for him. He does everything he can to make her happy, but... She's never satisfied. You know, I don't even think she really likes him. The only reason she's dating him is because he's the hottest guy in school. She's never cared about his feelings. She just sees him like this cute guy to date as some status symbol. <sighs> it's nowhere near the worst of it, though. Listen. There were these three guys that used to go to our school a couple years ago. They were just in love with Diana. She told me she'd catch them acting nervous around her and admiring how beautiful she was all the time. Well, a couple weeks into the year, she started threatening to tell everyone they'd been sexually harassing her if they didn't do what she said. It went on for a few months until, one by one, they started switching schools. They moved away and left all their friends behind because of her. I feel so 
so fucking terrible. I let her get away with so much. I could have stopped it all if I wasn't such a scared little bitch. I can't take it anymore. When I saw that she was manipulating you, too, I knew that I had to say something. I care about you too much to let her destroy you like that. <laughs> what is she even holding against you? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's low. Even for her. Like, way too low. There's gotta be a way to destroy the evidence. Hmm. I have an idea. Diana's having a bonfire tomorrow night at her place. Everyone will be outside, which should give us a chance to sneak into the house. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I could pick you up and we could find it together. Hey, it's okay. I know it's risky, but it's the best chance we have of stopping her. I'll get out and say hi Make sure she's distracted. Then I'll come get you out of the car, and we'll sneak inside. And don't worry. I've been in her room plenty of times. She won't care if she knows I'm there. You, on the other hand, you're gonna have to be super careful. The moment she sees you and me together in that room, it's all over. If we do this right, we can expose Diana to the whole school for being the manipulative bitch she is. Finally, put an end to this nightmare. Once and for all. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. I gotta go, but I'll come by your place tomorrow night to pick you up. Okay? Eight o'clock. Don't forget. And don't worry, we're going to get your life back.